Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a website using Excel and nothing but Excel. Um, some of you may be familiar with this and others may not be so familiar, but uh, Microsoft Excel can actually save things as HTML files. And what is an HTML? An HTML is a file which can be uploaded to any web hosting, um, web hosting account and you can actually create a website using just Office. Uh, I'm going to be using Microsoft Office 2013. Uh, keep in mind you can do this with 2010 also. Um, there's no, no big difference. Uh, so I'm going to pop open Excel and I'm going to create a blank workbook. You should be doing the same thing with 2010 if you're using 2010. You're going to have your blank default layout of Excel, a simple page just like this. Um, first things first is I'm going to want to go to File. I'm going to want to go to Print. And then I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to go back. And the reason I want to do that is because I just, I know there's an easy way of doing it, but that's how I do it. You see the little dashed line here? It just represents the end of my page. So now I know what kind of uh, area I'm working with. Um, now, let me go and, and just go online. Let's say go to Google and type in the word logo. And I'm going to go to images. And I'm going to grab a logo in this case um, here, the Batman logo. Why not? And I'm going to paste that right here into Excel. And I'm going to make this much smaller because it's way too big. Uh, this is kind of a cheesy way of doing it, but I'm just showing you guys how it can be done. Um, because you may need a web page on the fly, let's say for an invitation for something, or you just don't want to uh, get a web designer to do it for you. Um, again, I'm going to make a simple little logo over here. And I'm going to write here, uh, sample website. And I'm going to go and I'm going to format this a little bit. I'm going to make the text a little bigger. Um, and there we go. I just reached my line. I'm going to underline this, make it uh, something like this. And here I'm going to put, let's say, uh, menu items. So I could say item one, item two, item three, and item four. And then let's say here at the body of the page, I could say, hi, welcome to my website, period. And then I could put in a bunch of blah, blah, blah. And let me just stretch this out across. Blah, 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 blah. A bunch of arbitrary text. Again, you, you could actually use this here. Let me actually remove the one here and make it nice and even. Um, then I can just go in and let's say grab another image. Say I want, um, I want a horizontal bar, a nice one. And, uh, okay, no. We're going to want the clip art. Uh, should I get anything for this demonstration? A unicorn doesn't go with a bat symbol. <laughs> um, you know what? Let's just put horizontal horizontal tribal. That would work. Okay. Um, just, just for the heck of it, I'm just showing you a uh, demo. I should really use any image not to kill time, but here I'll use this one. This one looks pretty cool. Uh, let's copy this image. Let's go back here. Let's put a horizontal bar in here. Let's make it smaller. And then let's take our blah, blah, blah text. Let's duplicate it. And duplicate it some more. And duplicate it some more. And then down here at the end, obviously, I have uh, uh, this site is blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let me bring it one level up. Okay. All right. So I just made a very, very simple web page. This is because this is actually publishable. I can actually publish this to the internet. And uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to go to File, Save As. And here's what the magic is. I want to save it to my computer. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Sample. And inside that folder, I'm going to click on the Save As type. And I'm going to change the Save As type to a uh, web page. And that's going to create uh, HTML for me. Look at all the different types of, of, of files that Excel can actually work with. It, it can, you can actually save Excel files in so many different formats. But in our case, we want to save it as a web page. And I'm going to name this index. Uh, and I'm going to uh, save it. And it says here, some features might be lost if you save it as a web page. Yes, so I'm going to continue. And it's saved. Now let me minimize everything. Let me go into my sample folder. You'll see here that now I have index and I have index files. Index files contains the images and uh, styles for our sheet. 
while index.html, which is right here, is our primary website. And I'm going to open that with uh, Google Chrome. And this is what my web page looks like. Right, so we do have this sheet bar on the bottom, which we can actually remove. Um, but this is a sample of what my web page actually looks like. This this is my web page. Um, using a small HTML editor, I can actually edit this. Now, what I could also do is I can create different hyperlinks also. I can click on something here, for example. Um, I can right-click it, and I could choose to hyperlink it and I can hyperlink it to another page that I'll be saving. So suppose I save this as, yeah, I'll show you an example. We have sample website, right? And then we're going to have um, about me. And I'm going to name this index, or let's name this home. And I want to name this one about me. Um, and we'll make this one, uh, oh, just leave it at M3 and 4. So I'm going to go and save this also, save as, and I'm going to save this also to my desktop in my uh, sample folder. And now I'm going to name it aboutme.html, or just about me as a web page. Hit save. Now what happens is, is that I have two pages now. Uh, I have this page, and I have my About Me page, which is not linked yet. So I can continue modifying this, actually. I can go and uh, open this back in Excel. Well, this will no longer open in Excel uh, until I actually say Open With, and then choose to open it with Excel. Let me open up Excel again. So basically, all I'm doing is I'm just creating, um, I I'm just creating a, a web page using Excel. So this will be uh, main. And what do we say, main or home? I forgot already. And this is about me. And what I could do here is right-click this, choose to hyperlink it, create a link out of it to the about me file. Now, if someone clicks on this, it's going to actually take me to that page about me and change the entire page. So let me save this. And let me close this. And let me go back to index uh, and open it in Chrome. And about me is now hyperlink. You can actually click it and it'll change to about me. So, uh, like I said, if you dedicate a little time into this, you can actually use this to design uh, a web page and then just upload it uh, to the internet. You see, I have my logo, which could be anything, and I have a sample website. So what is this good for? So this is good for if you want to create a basic page, a basic intro page. You know, you can have home, gallery, about me, home, portfolio, about me. Uh, you can create uh, your own online uh, resume or portfolio or your own V-card. Um, I just use some random images from the internet. I didn't even upload these pictures nowhere. Uh, everything is directly from Google. I just copied something as a, you know, I went here, clicked on copy image. I went right back into Excel and I pasted it. Um, and then I was able to modify the size and play with it. Obviously, if you're good with Photoshop or Paint or um, some form of graphic software, you actually be able to manipulate and edit this. So all I did was is create a very, very, very basic page and conti can continue playing with this. Um, I, for example, I, I happen to have Dreamweaver, which I use. I'm going to open up Dreamweaver 8. Um, and I'm actually, because I know how to use an HTML editor, I'm actually able to go here to that sample folder. Um, and I can open this index file, and I can actually make changes to it right now as we speak uh, directly through the index file. And you see here what Excel did is it created all basically tables. Every cell is represented by a table. So this is uh, kind of like the poor man's way of making a site. Um, I do recommend using Dreamweaver, but if, if you ever were curious how to or how you would go about creating uh, a website in Excel, um, this would be the way to do it. Um, Actually, it's a, oops, it's a really, 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 really easy way. Again, check this out. About me, sample. About me, sample. And you can have different content. Um, and how do you make this live? Uh, well, to make it live, you can go online. Let's say you don't want to buy hosting, which I recommend everyone should buy domain name and hosting. But you can actually Google free hosting service or just free hosting. Um, and you can see here, uh, here, freehosting.com, no purchase required. So create a dummy email so you don't get spam, because places like this probably give you spam. Register with your dummy email, click on Get Started, uh, and then you'll be able to actually upload your work, and then you'll get a link, which you can shorten, um, and you can send to people, or you can put it on your business card, etc. So what was the point of this video? The point of this video was just to show you um, how you can utilize the Save As Web Page feature in Excel and create a website out of Excel. Obviously, this is not going to be a robust website where people can register and do profiles and uh, all this kind of good stuff, but it is something, and it is simple, and anyone 
could do it. Anyone could do it. You can even use the whole sheet method, the whole sheet technique on the bottom, uh, creating different sheets for pages and upload that. That is a very cool thing too. So that's what I wanted to demonstrate to you guys. Um, very simple, just how to create a simple website uh, using Excel. Thank you very much. Um, haven't posted a video in over a week. My friend passed away um, Monday. I was attending a funeral. I'm still feeling very bad about it, actually. Um, you know, and work has been very hectic. But uh, you know, decided to get back. Um, I've noticed a high increase in subscribers. Thank you very much, all of you, all my viewers, my watchers. Uh, thank you for watching my work and and for the kind and warm messages I've been receiving. Uh, and thank you again. So if you're new to this also, please subscribe. Um, and I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.